In this tutorial, we'll set up a basic smoke simulation, and then that'll give you the basic tools you need to follow my intermediate level tutorials, like the rocket ship tutorial that I'm uploading today. All right, so basically, let's just take a look. I'll run this animation real quick. And a couple things. Notice your view makes a big difference, what happens in here. Notice from here, now I can see all the smoke, and now I can't. So you just have to keep that in mind because some views just don't work, other views do, and so you're going to have to be careful about how you set it up because sometimes you'll do something and you don't, won't think your smoke's working at all, but it's just because your view is wrong. And the other thing is that's happening in this scene, let's stop this for a second, is that you need a couple of objects, in, in this case, to make it work. I have a plane that has a particle system set with it and then over on here this is like let's just we'll just wow well we'll just make one from scratch okay let's just do this instead so you see it from the beginning all right so I'm gonna add first thing I'm gonna add is a cube to the scene I'll scale it up a little bit make it a little bit different than the other one and this will be our domain object for the smoke this is where the smoke will reside inside this object all right and then so I'll go over here to the physics button and I'll pick smoke and I'll make it the domain like that and I'll just leave everything as at the default value for right now all right so the all the smoke is going to be contained within the cube like this all right well let's just make it a little wider all right so I have some space okay now I'm going to add a plane to the scene and I'm going to this here I'll move it over here to the side and there's, I'm low on local axes right now let's change it to global just for a second and I'll rotate it on X Okay, that's probably not the way I want to do it, but we're going to take a look. And then I'm going to add, this is going to be our flow object. So we'll add that for in a, in a second. But before I do, I want to make sure I add a particle system to the scene. Because if you just add, if you make this the flow object for the smoke, the smoke's going to kind of hover on that surface. So I'm going to add a particle system here. And I'll emit it on the y, local y-axis, because the emitter here... It, normal is perpendicular to the face of the of the surface, but I like to use X, Y, and Z, which work on local axes. So I'll change it to here, and that shows me that the local axis is actually the Z direction is this way because I've already rotated the object. So then this is what applies in this case. That's going to be positive Z. So maybe we'll make it 15. And let's just run the particle simulation. And so there's the particles shooting out there. In fact, you can see the smoke is already taking effect inside the scene like that is bouncing on there like that All right, so it's pretty powerful but the cool thing about the smoke simulator if you look over here is that I have this additional object in the scene so just because the domain has to be a, this cube shape rectangular shape things like that doesn't mean you can't put odd shapes inside the domain and make it bounce because that's really what brings the smoke particles to life is when they're bouncing off of surfaces and if you if you reference blenders own instructions with off of their website they very specifically tell you that it's the surfaces that the particles and the smoke inter that interacts with is how you really control the flow of the smoke and that's what i had done in here i just taken this plane surface and subdivided and extruded it out rotated into the scene that way when you see over here when these particles come hitting it if you just focus on the particles themselves let's see not the let's see if I can just get the particles you can see the particles are bouncing up off of that surface and so that cube is containing it but notice over here well let's see if we can get a better idea let's see if we can move this thing let's see if we scale it up in Z real quick like that and so you can maybe see the effect better There you go. You see it kicking up like that. These are just rising on their own like the smoke simulator normally does. But those bounce up and that's where you can control the direction of the flow of your smoke. All right. And so then you could put any all kinds of objects in the scene. You just have to make sure that when you click this object you go into the physics button and make sure you have a collision detection set on it like that. And then that gives you a great deal of control there. And as far as setting up um, rendering, you want to do the rendering based on the domain object itself, not on the flow object. And that's also on the Blender website. 
you can see that, but you come in here and you give it a material, but you have to make sure it's a volume that's going to be rendered, and this goes to zero per their instructions as well. And then you can set up a texture on here, and instead of it being clouds with the default, make sure it's voxel data like this. And that'll kind of give you a start for getting it going. Of course, you have to pick the domain object in here, which is, what is that? <coughs> Cube.03, like this. and I'll change these values as well, just kind of default values and then you can go from there and change your colors or do whatever you want. Alright, well I hope that gives you some ideas about just setting up the basic simulations and then uh, the rocket ship launch tutorial uh, will make a little more sense. Alright, well that's it for this lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson.